Hi, hello, 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 hello. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> wow. Oh, that is looking sharp. I see you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. To my lang, darse namaste. Hello, guys. Ah, rekhona, rekhona. Lichukile, lichukile, bukhiya man. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, oh, I love it. Tar, tar, bling, done. I, I, I won, I won as well. Oh, you cheer something else. Um, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the Tirsa Namaga series. We're in season two, and today we're joined by Kahisa Fredericks and, of course, our guest of the day, the Huymans, Kenele and Peter John. How are you both? Can we see that ring again? Just, just show us what you got there. <laughs> <laughs> How are you both doing? Good day. Good. How are you? How are you? Paulie, how are you? Kahis? I'm all, good. All, all good. All good. All good. All, all... I'm certainly not doing better than Kahis. I mean, he's all suited up. I didn't know I'm here with a jersey and you know, I didn't know that this is the what we're doing today, but it's all good. Um <laughs> I don't know what the special occasion was. But I'd like to be warned beforehand. Um, today yeah, we're going to... it's... <laughs> okay. Anyway, we'll talk. We'll talk. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone who's joining in. It's so exciting to have you guys um, joining us for yet again another episode. And we're joined by the winners of our first giveaway, which was very, very luxurious. And um, as you can tell, with the ring that's being flashed, that was also one of the uh, prizes, so to speak. Oh. And so. Today, um, we're joined by Ganele and Peter John. You two have joined this competition. We didn't know who you were, but we realized how amazing you are through your story. So can you just let us know briefly who you are and what it is you do? Also, they're married, by the way. Hence the ring. Hence the win. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> ladies. Uh, I think every time we change the narrative. <laughs> um, thank you so much for for enjo uh, inviting us onto this platform. Um, thank you so much for the opportunity. My name is Kinelo Khoyaman, maidenly known as Kinelo Sefero. Um, I am a professional data scientist, so that's what I do um, on a daily basis, apart from what we do um, together. Um, so. I have two qualifications, one being data science and from sort of like originally we are originally from Kimberley and the other qualification being um, data, a data factory. So yeah, in a nutshell, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I am a doctor, I'm a model. Hopefully I'll be modeling more things in the future. Um, for <laughs> That's Hi, thank you, Dana Moho, uh, yes, group. Thank you, Kahisun Kofaune, for this opportunity. I am Peter John Huyama. From, from Kimberley. Um, I attended CBC St. Patrick's College, um, went on to uh, live in Cape Town for a few years where I was a cricket coach um, and also uh, partially studied, you know, um, a Bachelor of Commerce in Law. Um, and then I moved back to Kimberley and um, I basically continued um, entrepreneurial vein. I tried a few things out. Uh, I wouldn't really say it was fear. It was more lessons and me uh, learning more about myself, becoming more accomplished and comfortable um, in who I am, and then I did a few courses along the way, um, all related to um, entrepreneurship. And then eventually around 2018, 2019 was when I started studying towards, and then eventually uh, moving into uh, the diamond space. So um, that also came as a bit of a surprise to some people. They they, they didn't know that I, I actually do have a beneficiation license. And so, um, that business has taken uh, a massive backseat um, for some time. And then uh, this addition 
um, being big that love and passion, that flame that has sort of died down a bit. So yeah, I'm, I I think this is really a blessing having met um, you guys and and everyone in your network. Sure, Carissa, I had no idea. Did you know that um, <laughs> they were doing so much? No, <laughs> uh, no. I think we we all discovered wow. discovered this, you know, after the fact. Um, but yeah, look at it was um, you know a a good discovery for for lack of a better word because we also discovered diamonds. So yeah, uh, just a good uh, discovery. Yeah. Smart <laughs> one. So when we started the competition, um, the the giveaway, we really just wanted to connect with people you know, grow our, our, um, our following. And then we came across the Huimans story. And we were like, who are these people? This is amazing. We got so many followers there after we didn't know that Ganelo is yet an entrepreneur and, you know, a bit of an influencer at her scale. Why did we have, uh, before we hear your story, um, so why did we select their story um, above the others that had joined in? Yeah, look, Basically, you know, when, when we looked at, at their story and, you know, mind you, it was, you know, a, a, a late entry. Um, it, it really, the story was really touching, uh, let's put it that way. And, and when I say touching, it, it really embodied, you know, the different elements that, you know, we aspire yeah. to achieve from a Tirisana Moha perspective. And when I say, you know, embodying the different elements is when you read, you know, the challenges that Ginelio at, at, at was facing at the time, you know, around, you know, uh, not being able to, to breastfeed and, and all of those things. Um, in, in most cases, what you would then find is, um, I, I would say we, we have, um, let's call it township doctors that will tell you that, you know, actually maybe you must, you know, put some, uh, some, uh, some ash somewhere and then, you know, things will happen. And, you know, it, it, it could have been that, but, but as a couple, they, they work together to seek a, a solution but you know mm. after finding that solution it's not keeping it to themselves but rather you know seeing how they can then share it with others who are facing um s similar challenges so it, it's really a story of you know a couple that had a challenge and they worked together to to overcome the challenge and beyond that you know what really stood out for me is Ginella put it out there and obviously she, she's a famous one um she did not mention uh, dancer uh, in the in in the titles, because uh, you know, uh, if you go through the game, you see she's quite popular. Um, so she she put it through right, and at the very like minutes later, an hour later, you know, uh, Peter John did notifications like yeah. I was like, wow, this is this is now working in sync. This is now yeah, this is partnership. And and like I said, you know, they really the story embodied that, but also the execution. Right, because we had other stories as touching. However, we did not see a follow up from the the partner or the person that you are, you know, dirisaning moho with. And in this case, you know, she posted and he posted, and then like, wow, this is this is people working in unison. <laughs> That's yeah, what so we're yeah, talking that, about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and I mean, Peter John, do you tell us? Did she tell you if you don't post, if your company account? <laughs> doesn't post we're not going to win be aggressive what a, what was the discussion <laughs> no i i actually um i have robin baby on 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 whatsapp he's he's one of the uh, i think he's the ceo of um outclass crystallized gems and i saw uh, the competition initially posted on his status and then i showed Kinelwe and we're like no nah, man let's just give this a shot you know it sounds good um we we did not have any rest in December. We worked throughout December. We probably had two or three days off, but um, it was when our business was really just taking off um, into its second month. And so we had absolutely no time for rest. So we, was, we felt a bit burnt out and we were just hoping and praying that if we could get that weekend getaway, um, it would definitely be, be Cape Town and that would be Kinelwe's first time there. And it was, Cape Town's like a second home to me as, as well. So um, the idea was then, so I'm more of the, a writer than what she is. But then she said, okay, look at my post and edit this. 
And then I read it and I said, it doesn't need to be edited. It's beautiful. It's eloquent. Mm -hmm. It's well written. And that's what you a husband is supposed to say. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I post that, then what I'll do maybe to increase our chances of winning, I'll write something out of my heart and then uh, we'll see like how these two things take a direction of their own and we'll just look at each other's posts and yeah, let's, let's just hope we get recognized. So yeah, we know it was kind of last minute, but we, we still put and really, really grateful to have what. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Um, before I get to you, so what was your story, Geneva? What, what did you share with the public? What did you share with us? And really thank you for being so sincere and honest in your post. Um, so I shared something very personal, something I had kept to my to ask quite some I in the beginning of of well, just after giving birth, I really I one can think of. Um a new mother, first time mother, very young. Um, so I started experiencing a drastic drop in my milk supply. So just a bit of a backstory. I did, before birth even, I decided to exclusively feed my milk. I need to make sure that I actually have enough milk because um, I think it's subversive. It's a very complex phenomenon and it's something that is not spoken about enough and besides the awareness and i do see that there's there's been quite a few quite a bit of awareness um in the past few years but there's not much education and there's actually a difference between feeding breast milk. Um, so yeah, that's where the depression stemmed from because I didn't have enough milk to feed my child. And I started now also stressing, given that I do work in corporate, I started stressing about what do I, when I get to, I'm not planning to give my baby formula. So what am I going to do? So we started researching quite a, like extensively. I think most of the day, I couldn't, I wouldn't sleep. I just wanted to research and find the best solution to help me. Um, so I probably wanted to give up like a million times. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know what, let's just cut this thing and move on with our lives because I can't take it anymore. Um, but we may, eventually found a solution. And then um, I made, started making these lactation. So this, sorry, the solution, the solution was actually lactation cookies, which are cookies that help stimulate and breast milk products for mothers. Um, so I started making these lactation cookies for myself only at home for like a few months. Um, and then in November, the business guy, hey, yo, this is amazing. This product is needed by the world. Um, I'm about to, um, my son is actually weaning now, so I'm not going to be feeding any longer. So he said, why not make a business out of There's a lot of demand. There's like one or two other people in the whole country that, that make like So yeah, he's definitely the business developer in our business. Um, then we started in November. We started client based leap of faith. Said, um, Look, I need these. Please give them to me. It's actually a partner of a colleague or partner become... I'm a friend of ours. Um, he was like, I have you talking about this. Please make it for my partner. And we did. That was our first client. Um, and I mean, that was amazing. That was November. It's now six months. We are now in May. We've had probably over 400 clients at this point. Um, in one and a half months, we had reached the whole country. So nine provinces delivered to. Um, yeah, that's I think that's the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that, <laughs> that's the story we, we shared. Um, apart from the business, we also shared the fact that um, our marriage and, you know, 
becoming parents has taught us so much about working together and leaning on each other for this and that and you know there's nothing one can do on their own you 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 do need a partnership for that so go tlhoka go dirisana mo go le ba bangwe that's right thank you thank you hmm. ah <laughs> guys uh, so these people they must they must not forget us when they're rich and famous please um <laughs> yeah it's you no know, it's it's quite amazing um amazing. you know the story that she just shared with us and you know guys um you know all the best uh, with the business going forward you know um forward and onwards on honest honestly with all the hot reactions we're getting thank you to everyone who's um tuning in guys so what was the you know guys so is often called Mr K I didn't understand why until I realized that he was moving things around to get the prizes set and ready I mean the prizes were so got so well the prizes for this first competition because we had three prizes to give away the first prize was just luxury on luxury honestly speaking i mean i think it was um what was it like a 20 something uh yeah so for, for the first prize we said look uh, it's um <clears throat> the total package would be over 20000 yeah. um we didn't want to specify exactly how much because you know certain things you can't really attach a value to and and when i say certain things you can't attach a value to is you know being able to be at a you know uh, mama isabella's uh you know um factory and her talking you through a story it's more than just a guided tour but you also having some insight um from someone who's much more wiser than what we could ever hope to be uh, you know where we are in our lives so um to the price so the third price was a 2500 uh, uh, ben and co a voucher um uh, the uh, second prize was the 5000 um uh, ben and co voucher and then the first prize was um you know the 20k package which included the 7500 ben and co voucher a two night stay at a luxury uh, sorry at the four star we made very clear four star um accommodation That's right. and then <laughs> yeah and then also um we then give them you know a guided tour to come through to uh, mama isabella to see you know what happens in terms of you know what happens behind the scenes um and also go to molekuleseki um, just to really appreciate what they do from a diamond cutting and polishing perspective um the winners also then joined us for the Ben and Co uh, official opening uh, which which was which was also good and then you know for you know the other prizes like i said you know where you go around and see these different business owners um within the same industry that you can't really quantify and you said over 20k oh, yeah. and you know this is what we need to do um so um life being what it is uh you know uh these were the prices but you know we needed to juggle a few things um and when i say juggle a few things you know when we originally set this up it was one of those that you know if the when the winners you know come through they would be you know in in Johannesburg or wherever and then you know the one day we'd go around to the different places um obviously book them in the next day we then do the launch event and then you know they've got you know as a place where they can you know just you know put their feet up and and relax um and then the khuya mans came with a different proposition to say you know we want to go to cape town so we we then needed to you know sort of you know augment augment all of that and you know put a few things um in place but you know i'm happy that at the end of it all um they were able to to enjoy the prize um and you know um ginelo was able to uh, to go to to cape town i hope she brought us some sea water um but you know again you know it's <laughs> it, it i think it, it it was a good experience because again you know when you then follow the the story um from uh, from from the time they were in cape town it was quite uh, it was quite beautifully captured and yeah it's look this, this is a very enterprising couple so i'm i'm deviating now they're very yeah. enterprising <laughs> but we we'll, we'll get into it we we'll, we'll get into it <laughs> Yeah, uh we have a comment here and it's such a beautiful comment. It says brilliant story and it's a real problem for mothers. A friend of mine experienced the same and it does cause distress. Well done to you. Um so that's uh for you Ganeer there. <laughs> so do tell us uh you visited various sites, you were with these incredible people. So uh what were some of your highlights with your experience? Um it's really difficult to to pin how can i say to really isolate something as a highlight mm-hmm. i really if every prize or every aspect of um the experience 
um, what had something you know to remember. Nothing was forgettable in any way. Mm -hmm. So um, I mean, from the store launch, um, you know, it dawned on me, and I said, "No oh, man, but this Ben and Co name, I've I've seen, I've heard somewhere." And I spoke to Becky, and I said, "Becky, but uh, uh, I thought this was." Uh, own business or something because the name just had that ring to it and then he laughed and he said look he's many people have thought that um and and for me that was just a wow like listen um that becky challenged you know uh, young black south africans beneficiators those who are jewelers to say look um come and play retail space um i'm hoping fire you that's something that really put out Meeting the characters like um, Oz Toko from Toko's Diamonds, um, many of those people had many rich stories that they were willing to share with us. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, the picture became clearer about what Pirisano Moho is all about, the characters involved, um, a, a bit about the mission and the vision that you guys are trying to you know, uh, achieve. And, you know, I could, I could go on about the, the, the factory tour as well and how enriching that was um, on, on many levels. So there's really nothing that I would say um, was the pinnacle. Every part of it was very well thought out. Um, and really, there's, there's nothing we, we, we could ever forget um, about the whole experience. It was, it was truly VIP. It was very, 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 very important. I don't know how many... <laughs> um, and Carissa, how was your I mean, you know, you, you have these competitions And whoever wins, wins You don't really consider character Or, you know, the person's contribution But was, what was your thought with interacting with the Huyamans? Look, um, I realized how small the world is <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, You're both from Kimberley, yeah? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah You know, I think, you know That was one of the first few things, you know In, in building up to uh, you know, to them enjoying the prize, you know, to find out, you know, that we, we're all from Kimberley. Um, and then we, you know, um, Peter John and, and I are also within the same industry. Um, and then, you know, there's also some similarities from sports perspective. Uh, I also spent some time in Cape Town. So, oh, so okay, um, rather interesting. Um, and then, you know, you then, you know, try and figure out, you know, who Ukinela is. And, you know, a few people that I do know also knew who she was and I was like okay well this is quite interesting it just shows you how how small and interconnected the world is so yeah I think you know we chose the winners based on the the story that they were share, sharing and because really, really it, it, like you know Gerelo said it was quite you know her opening up to us um so that's what we chose it on and we then got a bonus to actually say but you know what these guys are in one way or another linked mm. to 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 the industry as well uh, be it, you know, passively or, you know, having been previously been in the industry. And it was quite, yeah, rather interesting. Honestly. And so for you both, you know, and um, Peter John, you know, we talk a lot about Tristan Omoho and most of the people that watch us, they don't really know, or, I mean, they might have their doubts or, you know, their um, questions as to whether we do Tristan Omoho, so to speak. And Ben and Co is here. Hello, Ben and Co Design. <laughs> it's good to see you. Um, so, when you when you when you met the whole team when you met every uh, member of this uh, beneficiation project or initiative rather uh, what was your thoughts and when you saw us working together i think you saw us collectively at the ben and co launch um how was that experience for you and what were your thoughts um so at the ben and co launch and, and the absolute pleasure of meeting Oz Togo from Togo's Diamonds. Um, and, oh, at the at, right, I only realized like along the way. Um, the one, the, the, there's quite a few things that really stood out to me about her, but the one most important one was her humility. Like mm. she's the most <laughs> humble person I've ever met. Yeah. Um, she was so kind, sincere. Humble, she was. Um, to to note that I should tell you, someone else was bragging about her work. So mm. that's how humble she was. Mm. Um. So yeah, that was my ex experience. Oztobo. Um. We did meet. We did meet. Um. 
the Ben and Co. Becky, um, and yeah, I, I, I also like Don said. I, I was also confused by who's this Ben? Is Ben his second name? <laughs> 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 Then he explained to us, no, it's actually a combo of, of his full names. Um, so yeah, that was quite inspiring. And you know, to have a, a, a black man in retailing in diamonds, it's unheard of. Um, so yeah, that was quite inspiring. We met uh, Mulifi at his, at his, um, at his um, thank you. So at the, to, at the factory, it was most of the, which I was actually used to hearing because mm -hmm. Peter John always mentions these things, carrots, you know, <laughs> it's an oval and all of so aging. Um, and he, he was also very engaging to a point where he would explain something to the finest detail when I, you know, find, you know, find jewelry. Stuff. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I was really inspired by that. And I was, I was actually um, expecting on the Peter John level but he actually came down to my level to explain the most complex thing in the oh wow awesome. um, then we met May Isabella blown away um, just the, the, the personal I, I really I, I'm taken by personal stories so her personal story about being a black woman having started a factory that's become a whole Big factory now, um, and she's gotten a whole free, free involved. Um, it was really humbling as well to experience that. Um, she's such a, a gentle, kind woman as well, and so soft spoken, but so stern as well. You can literally feel her power. Yeah. So, so that was also really um, humbling. So, yeah. I really hope I haven't left anyone out. If, if I could just add on the... So, Ostoko was waiting for us at um, the Rose Diamond Center with um, Dr. Jackie. Jackie. Um, so, you know, they were, they were a bit pressed at the time and, you know, not so happy. So, they sort of punished me and made me drive <laughs> to Pretoria. <laughs> <laughs> but I think by the time we hit the, the highway, we then really got to, to bond and connect. And the conversation went up for an hour. And we, we, we really, in that moment, a lot of uh, melting of ice happened. And, you know, we, we then formed incredible bonds on the way to the event, you know. So we made really, really, really good friends. And if, if I could just say about uh, Mulifi, um, I think it takes something really... Uh, special in someone. Um, if I look at Mulifi's license in his office and I see, okay, he's been now uh, trading since what, 2006? Um, that makes it a what, good 16 years, uh, 16, 17 years. Um, you know, he's sort of like you press a button and he doesn't stop sharing. He just keeps going and he just keeps mm -hmm. going and he just keeps going. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's very commendable as well. Um, when someone doesn't hold back from vital or crucial information mm -hmm. that will allow you to grow as well because they don't lose anything, mm -hmm. you know, by doing mm -hmm. But everyone sees things that way. So um, he's, he's really, really, really to have sustained that for such a long period of time, you know, means then all the accolades and, you know, the positions that he holds, it's then well-deserved. So even at the event, say, Mulifi, how are things going? And then he'll delve into the most granular detail yeah. about <laughs> how two carrots of, you know, G color are doing in the market. So really, really amazing to have a guy like that, <laughs> that you can always, and, and, you know, when he's not busy, um, he does really, you know, give his time and, 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 and guidance and mentorship and advice. So I think in the network, a really good spirit um, there's a th and that I think is most important there's you know a genuine outpour that people want to see each other flourish and grow and then what I realized mm. what I realized network of, of is that there's almost complete mind to market 
um, you know, you, you're sort of addressing the issues in the value chain. So no one can say that they don't have an access to rough. No one can say they don't have access to the, 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 the jewelry processing side of things or the diamond processing. And then there's also the retailer at the end. So you've got the whole value chain uh, tied down and you've actually solved a massive hit, you know, in the industry. And it seems like you've done it somewhat effortlessly, but I'm, I'm not saying that with, with, you know, to be funny or anything. I know a lot of work went into this, um, probably a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of um, conceptual work as well. And so, yeah, I'll keep saying well done to you guys because it's really not easy. <laughs> Just one more point. Um, <laughs> of the, the, some of the you need not for these two faces of Tirisano Moho. Nah! You guys are bringing it to life to mm. the people. Um, the, the, the ones we've mentioned are definitely around getting the getting that guys are the ones presenting it to the world, talking about it, you know, advertising it, making it seem like this amazing, well, it is, it is, I mean, you know, it is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done to you, to you too as well. Sorry, what, one more add on. <laughs> Being being business people, we understand the kind of effort it takes to, to get things like this out. Mm -hmm. You know, the mm -hmm. amount of people he is with, um, the amount of maybe damage control, the, um, you know, whatever risk management you have to put into place. And so um, we appreciate both the highs and the lows, you know. And so when, when I say well done, I'm doing it out of that space of, real understanding and wisdom and having walked some of, you know, the path that you guys have trodden. Ah, no, guys, so they've ambushed me. I don't have a question now. I'm done. Like, if I say anything else, I'm going to cry. So, <laughs> thank you both. I can't. <laughs> ah, yeah, no, guys, uh, definitely thank you. And, you know, earlier on I was saying um, you, you guys are quite an enterprising uh, couple, right? So, you know, one thing I've learned is, you know, you don't just tell a good story, but you're actually living, you know, your, you know, life to the, to the best of, you know, it's, you know, offerings and, you know, challenges, um, which is quite, you know, um, really inspiring. And one of the things you mentioned, you know, besides now Kinele being a model is, you know, I know, you know, your, um, your, your son is also sort of, you know, within that space whereby, you know, he, he's got an agency and, uh, on, on the other hand, um, I saw um, one of one, one of the one of the the, the streams you're on, uh, Peter John. Um, I think two weeks ago, um, where you were just talking about you know your journey and looking at, at diamonds as well. And then you you mentioned something else to say, you know, you've looked at diamonds in a specific way, and you've looked at your your artistic nature, your art ability in a separate way. But never have you thought of you know, sort of putting all of that um, together. And again, it, it, like I say, you, you're you a very enterprising couple because it's not just, you know, the, the one business they you know that you are managing together, but, you know, you're also looking out for your son to say, look at where the world is today. You know, more kids are, are being exposed to, to media, but how do you do it in a controlled environment, an environment where, you know, you as parents can really guide that conversation, you know, as, as things are going forward. But also, I'm, I'm hoping, and I don't know where it came from, but, you know, when, you know, Peter John, when you spoke around, you know, your understanding in terms of, you know, looking at the industry and trying to bring yourself within the industry and, you know, how, how's that journey sort of working for you and, you know, where, you know, what's next for you? So, uh, the, the competition was the first step in, in that direction. Um, I think the, 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 the fact that, you know, when I meet people in this kind of environment, then it, it immediately said to me, look, it's possible to thrive. Um, I always see someone doing better than me as something inspirational, as a benchmark, um, as something to, to strive towards. So, 
the, the fact that I got a wider network of people, mainly based in, in Johannesburg, really inspired me. So that, that was the first step. And it, it said to me then, um, look, if you don't want to go in a path you feel has already been, you know, trodden by... Oh, I think we've lost. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Then, then, then come about and incorporate um, what you think would be forms of, of novelty that what I mentioned, right? Now, yeah. coming. It's, it's been for some time now. So, again, after I go now and deliver these parcels, <laughs> which we had to bake this afternoon so once the interview is done i've got to drive yeah. out do my thing um i have to then issue the emails and say look um the process needs to be sped up and choosing location will also become important in that right so i've got to decide will it be in johannesburg or will i continue running my business out of kimberley um and i think what i want to bring out a lot more um i've I have spoken to a few very big names before. Um, I've, like, I attended high school with Trevor Stierman and um, Tebe Mabubu, both of them, you know. Um, but I was thinking of opening, opening things up and speaking to many different designers because before Tirisano Mokho, it was my, my vision or my idea to say, how best can I incorporate uh, diamonds specifically um, within fashion? And... Mm what's been done but to really bring out Africa and, and let's just start with the Northern Cape you mentioned you know the basic fact that you speak to someone from the Northern Cape uh, a diamond of first province that has never even held or seen a diamond before other than in pictures or in movies on TV so that that would be the beginning because um, if, if you just cross-reference Kinelo Lactations um, we're in an age now when, you know, God are the just uh, gross accumulation of profits. Uh, people want to see what value you are adding to society. People want to see what stories you are bringing out, you know. And with Kinelo Electations, um, I call it like a freemium model, but we've got a um, body of knowledge that we share with mothers for free. We don't make them pay for that. They only pay for the, the cookies that we bake, you know. But knowledge part, which is actually more important than the cookies, is for free. Now, what a lot of people might not know, that some mothers actually just used our pumping tips and they've increased milk production without even buying the cookies. And they've come back and they've said, thank you for that, mm -hmm. you know. And Kinelo had phone calls and video calls that she's had with mothers and uh, she would guide them within five or ten minutes and already um, the mother has seen positive results. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the value add. So my brain work right now is not around um, how I can maximize profits. I'm really, really looking at how can I be a value addition to the fashion space um, and I be a value addition to where I come from you know how can I be a value addition to the creatives I've met um, over the years and that have really made an impression on me so so I want my mind to to run wild in that and I'm really challenging myself to say um, I'm, I'm not leaving this just as a concept that sounds nice um, it needs to to be implemented I need to to, to be bold enough to put something out um, by the end of the year. You know, as I'm speaking, I um, forgot the artist's name right now, but very, very big South African artist who passed away um, in Kimberley. Um, oh, yes, his surname is Mabaso. Um, so because of my proximity to someone in academia and and. and being part of helping those girls get closure on their father's passing. I mean, they, they, they're young women they're in their 20s. They came down to Kimberley and out of the William Humphreys Art Gallery, it was the first time they got to actually see 
um, I think the majority of their father's artwork and the root in and to have been part of something extremely special. Now, for one to maybe recreate those those pieces and bring them to life in a different space um, would be would, would 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 be things that would um, really you know enliven the conversation and enliven the works of artists that have made massive contributions but not many people know about them you know so um as we said diamonds are forever and um, they shine and sparkle forever and they've come on for billions of years so again there, 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 there's an avenue to maybe bring life again to the forgotten Absolutely. Ha, huh, you too. I mean, we should reserve what 2 hours to talk to you because <laughs> there's just so much to say and um I mean, what a way to close um this particular episode, especially with the Mother's Day giveaway coming up with Tweed extended to the 15th. So, can I just touch on that quickly what the Mother's Day give about it, giveaway is about? I mean, can I I wish you could enter. <laughs> But you got your ring. <laughs> Yeah so anyway nothing precludes her from entering ah! <laughs> Yeah nothing that's precluded I mean look at the rules um I think there's no way that you've mentioned that you know <laughs> previous with us um can't um country enter Look um so on the competition and I think you know maybe we just need to st- take a step back and you know really reflect um where we are right So what you know we doing in Tirasana more for the journey that we on on Tirisana Moho it's not you know entirely unique in that you know Peter John has you know thought about something similar at at, at some stage i think you know we should really say we we privilege that you know we have the resources and and the buy in to be able to to put this together and and by resource you remember times also a resource which is which is very scarce mm-hmm. so um we we are making sacrifices to make sure that you know this then happens however you know and and I'm appealing to you know everybody who's on here and you know who, who's going to watch this later you know it, it's a number of things one we we've got an opportunity to to really shape the narrative or be part of you know what the narrative is going forward um when you look at you know what happens in the diamond industry and by when i say changes the narrative is a how how it's been it's been consumed where it comes mm. from and whether you know we are also beneficiaries of that right um because you know like you know Peter John has said you know Kimberley is a, a place known for diamonds however there's a lot of people who've not seen it right again you know we we dealing with a luxury product but knowing what we know today right how then do we empower others to play a role one way or another uh, be it, uh, as a model be it as a photographer be it as a script writer from telling the beneficiation story so that more and more people can can benefit so my appeal to anybody listening here yourselves included is to realize that we've got an opportunity to really change the narrative and for us to yeah. really change that narrative is making sure that we put the word out there because we don't know what our stories you know can do the impact that our stories can have on somebody else could really you know change um change their life i mean you know peter john we spent you know all but two days together but within the two days you know it reignited your passion which was always there whereby you know looking at you know your business in a different way and um kenelwe i i'm i'm sort of trying to place you because you know peter is very litigious because you know he, you can see he speaks you know very clearly so he's very very careful with what you say to him and then you've got you know the sort of the crazy creative on the other side um so again and and from kenelwe is one of those actually you know i'm here i can see people modeling actually i can do this as well you understand and 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 that's you know what we're a part of and you know for us to really really enjoy this is to make sure that this works so that you know it then creates more and more platforms and more and more opportunities for others so i just want to take a background so let's come to mother's day mother's day is you know i don't know we shouldn't really call it mother's day but it's that one day that we you know elect um to really celebrate our mothers right um so with this competition like what you said is you know we've got a, a plethora of 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 prizes uh, and and with that you know we're saying uh we'll we'll definitely have a luxurious experience whereby you know um the winners um would be able to a uh, engage with, with some of the members they've seen and more some of the other members that you know are also coming on board um it's about you know sharing uh, our experiences and also i think you know 
gifting freely, whereby uh, Abigail Betts has, you know, committed to, you know, making available a, a, a design. We're looking at, you know, putting together a, a photo shoot and, and all of those things. So initially we thought, okay, let's try and do this for Mother's Day so that one can enjoy it for Mother's Day. However, what we're saying is, yes, it's, it's, it's for Mother's Day, but it's beyond just Mother's Day. We should not just be celebrating our mothers on Mother's Day, but beyond Mother's Day. So with that in mind, we will extend this competition by one week up to next week, Thursday. So you've got, you know, another week to, to enter and really share what, you, what, what your mother means to you or just pictures of yourselves and your mother, you know, really being in, in, you know, in a moment of bliss. Uh, we've got Sunday uh, to do that. So, you know, really take Sunday to capture those moments and really appreciate our mothers. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, once again, you know, t t take, take those moments and, and really appreciate it, pre appreciate it because like I said, you know, our stories can really shape or really influence somebody in, in, in a different way. Yeah. So please enter the competition, uh, go on, share, tag, um, um, tag Dirsana Mojo, share a picture of, you know, of, of, of your mother or story of, you know, what, what, what your mother means to you or, or the other way around. Um, so Kinelo again, you know, what is motherhood to you? Whereby, you know, it's not about yourself anymore. It's more about, you know, the, the bigger objective. And sometimes it does do that to, to couples as well. Um, so Peter John, yes, we, we can't be mothers, but we can be, you know, parents who are very much in, involved. Um, so that that's what it's all about. And, you know, uh, I really want, you know, to sort of to put it this way, because sometimes I think, we, we can get intimidated by, you know, these videos that look so professionally done. You think you also need to do the same. You, you need not do the same. Tell your story yeah. in your own way because that's what makes us unique. Um, and, 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 and that's what I want to say. Please enter, uh, tag Dirisano Mojo and, and really share and celebrate our mothers. Uh, and then next week, Thursday, we'll then, you know, be doing um, the, the grand giveaway. And, you know, once again, good luck to each and everyone who will be entering. Uh, and uh, for Sunday, to all the mothers out there, you know, you know, really, really, you know, happy Mother's Day. And, you know, you, you deserve everything the world has to offer. Beautiful. What a beautiful pose in Garisa. It's as if you've written this down. But I, I'm assuming it's because you look so sharp. We expect selfies from you. And also, you can eat pictures of the ring. Please tag us. <laughs> we have to see. <laughs> <laughs> I won't know when you'll just see it out, but I will just like to show you guys. I don't know if it will be. Oh, that's oh, stunning. nice. Very beautiful. So it's uh, it's it's in silver, but the center stone is a sapphire, and it. Um, on the sides are two diamonds. Uh, so Ooh. we size is a little bit, but yeah, she's happy, and that means I'm happy. So, uh, <laughs> well, <Thank you. laughs> so I think uh, the other thing about their staff compliment is they're very knowledgeable people. Uh, I've gotten to know TD, I've gotten to know Dimitri knowledgeable, friendly, uh, very home in their store. Team going. And they wouldn't have to they would just talk for hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Garza, did you want to say something? Yes. Um, speaking about, you know, Ben & Co, the store, um, guys, please, um, as you're looking for Mother's Day gifts, uh, please go yes. on to uh, Ben & Co or check them on Instagram, uh, send them a message, and then you can place your order. Um, they've got, you know, ready-made stuff that maybe they can size for you. There's beautiful stuff they've got. And, you know, they're really reasonably priced. Because um, looking at, you know, what you guys have for you know, I guess seven and a half as a base and you probably add it to it. Um, you know, it's something quite, quite beautiful um, that you got for, for, for that amount. So they're reasonably priced, um, you know, um, friendly staff, good environment. Uh, please do go to Ben & Co. Um, if you want to uh, spoil and show your mother, you know, how much they mean to you. Oh, Sorry. yes. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, the, the, the direct, just remind. We know that in terms of 
Togo's Diamonds. Um, they were also part of the sponsoring of some lovely bubbles at the event. Some, you know, very nice uh, delectable drinks. Um, but we did promise them that we'd check out Quench Lounge um, in Alexandra. And we went on our the, the uh, last month. And we, we really enjoyed it. Nice ambiance as well. The food was amazing. Again, good stuff. Um, just a good vibe. So, yeah, if I could just add that as well. Thank you to them for, for their contribution. Oh, awesome. And, you know... We have just a comment here from Tokos Diamond saying, thank you. We are a family now. We are a family to everyone who's always tuning in. We could talk forever. Trust us. Um, <laughs> but we appreciate you all. And see you next week, Tuesday. Um, what is it, Thursday? See you next week, Thursday. Next week, Thursday. Yeah. yeah, next week, Thursday. Super surprise for you all. Um, yeah, Garissa, selfies. Gnele, selfies. It's clear. Or whatever you call it for the ring. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Thank you. Have a good one. Guys, cheers. Bye-bye.